There you go. Everything's great. President Biden passing his uh, passing his annual physical with the doctor identifying no, quote, new concerns, but the lack of any cognitive exam raising some questions. Fox News contributor Dr. Mark Siegel is here with us, and hello to you. Two things I want to share with you. Here's what the physician said in part. President feels well when this year's physical identified no new concerns. He continues to be fit for duty and fully executes all of his responsibilities without any exemptions or accommodations. Here is the question from Quinnipiac. Do you think President Biden is too old to effectively serve? Which is different from mental acuity. Two-thirds, 67 percent, say yes. You thought this report was sneaky and left out a lot? What do you mean? Well, first of all, the Quinnipiac poll you talked about also asked fitness to serve versus age. This is important because I'm not concerned about age. I don't think we should focus on age. We should focus on fitness. And the American public is questioning fitness. About two-thirds of Americans say, is he mentally fit? That question was not addressed by this physical this year. That's what I mean by sneaky. This physical looked almost identical to last year's. In fact, one line that he doesn't have Parkinson's, doesn't have stroke, doesn't have multiple sclerosis, was lifted identical wording from the year before. The gate, his problem with walking, they're uh, uh, again saying it's due to arthritis in the spine and some orthopedic problems. But some neurologists have told me that this gait where your feet are kind of glued to the floor is more consistent with fluid on the brain or possibly not enough blood flow to areas of the brain. I'm not saying he has that. I haven't examined them. But we didn't see any imaging of the brain, no MRI, and again, no cognitive testing. And American public is questioning his cognitive ability because of the frequent lapses he's had in memory. Now, neurologists have come out and been quoted all over the place saying, well, when people get older, they have memory lapses. I personally, in my practice, have not seen this kind of memory lapse. And if I did, I would refer the patient to a neurologist to, to get testing for it. So they're avoiding the elephant in the room here, in my opinion. He's also taking criticism, or the White House is taking criticism, for not having this cognitive test embedded in the physical. If you were going to design something like that for presidents or candidates seeking office, can you break down for us what you would like to see in there? What are we looking for? What kind of questions are we trying to answer in a cognitive test? Really, really important question, very well phrased. I think it's over time that's the answer. It's a word, words called cognitive reserve. Remember, if it's a grandfather, maybe you don't care about that. But the president of the United States, you want to know how their memory affects their ability to make decisions, their flexibility of decision making, their creativity, thinking outside the box with new things coming out them all the time. How do they look compared to foreign, other foreign leaders? You can't tell that with one cognitive test. It would be an assessment made over time. Nice to have a doctor in the room yesterday, too. It would have been nice to answer some of these questions. Doctor, thanks for coming. Great to see you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.